Former President Barack Obama headlined a campaign event in Tucson, Arizona, where he was critical of Kamala Harris's political opponent, Donald Trump. What I cannot understand is why anyone would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you, said Barack Obama. Obama also made a few quips about Trump's town hall meeting earlier in the week, where he and South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem swayed and listened to music for 30 minutes. Obama asked the audience, can you imagine if I did that, and jokingly said that his playlists would probably be better. Obama and former President Bill Clinton have been campaigning across the United States in key battleground states for Kamala Harris, as Election Day is less than three weeks away. We, we, know, we know this election is going to be tight. And, and it's going to be tight because a lot of Americans are struggling right now as as a country we've been through a lot over the last few years we've had a historic pandemic that wrecked havoc on communities and businesses disruptions from the pandemic then caused prices to spike and that put a strain on family budgets and in a lot of ways it felt like the aspirations of working people have taken a back seat to the priorities of the rich and the powerful and the well-connected. So, so I understand why people are looking to shake things up. I get why sometimes folks are frustrated with politics. I'm sometimes frustrated with politics. So, so, so I get it. What I cannot understand is why anyone would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you. That I don't understand. He held a town hall meeting where he's, he, he just, let, let me explain, because I've done a lot of town hall meetings. The point of a town hall meeting is to take questions. He just decided, you know what, I'm going to stop taking questions and then He's swaying to Ave Maria and YMCA for about half an hour. Folks are standing there not sure what's happening. Can you imagine if, if, if I did that? Can, can you imagine if Ruben did that right in the middle? Now, our playlist would probably be better. But... He called himself... The father of IVF. I do not know what that means. You do not either. He said January 6th was a day of love. Do not boo. Vote. It made, made, made January 6th sound like it was Woodstock. You, you would be worried if your grandpa was acting like this. No, no, I'm, I'm not joking. You would, right? You'd, be, you'd, 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 you'd call up your cousins and you'd say, have you noticed? So imagine it coming from a guy who wants to be given unchecked power. Tucson, we do not need to see what an older, loonier Donald Trump looks like with no guardrails. We have had enough of arrogance and bumbling and bluster and division. America's ready to turn the page. We're ready for a better story. We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris. In Russia, repression against the top military officers who failed the initial period of the invasion continue. Former head of the Russian Defense Ministry, Sergei Shoigu, has already been punished, but Putin still has many grievances against his former comrade. As a source told the Moscow Times, the president's grievances include the failure to fulfill the plan to take Kiev in three days, Prigozhin's rebellion and the weakness of the Russian army. This is humiliation. 
Putin does not forgive such humiliations, the media source emphasized. The article cited the example of Shoigu's ally Ruslan Salikov, who failed to take the seat of governor of Tuva, although everything had already been agreed upon. The official in a conversation with the Moscow Times suggested that the former head of the Russian Ministry of Defense will not be left alone. It could even lead to arrest. The official is sure. Investigators continue to open new cases against high-ranking officials of the Ministry of Defense. A whole host of generals has been arrested. And the Vorobayov clan, closely associated with Shoigu, is at great risk. Criminal cases for bribery have been opened against several high-ranking officials of the Moscow regional government, where Andrei Vorobyov is governor. Everyone sees this and everyone understands that Sergei Kuzugetovich has been punished, a Russian government official with a military background told the Moscow Times. Three sources of the Moscow Times, who are personally acquainted with Shoigu and Putin, said that the Russian president has accumulated a lot of dissatisfaction with the former defense minister. A new blow for Shoigu was that his longtime ally Ruslan Salikov was not approved as a senator from Tuva at the first meeting of the Republic's Kural. According to the Moscow Times sources, Shoigu wanted to take Salikov to the Security Council and then agreed, through the Kremlin, that he would become a senator. But Shoigu's opponents intervened in the matter. Shoigu can hardly feel completely safe. And as far as I know, he's very worried. So far, they are leaving him alone. But no one is trying to predict what will happen next. I would not be surprised if it could lead to an arrest, says a current Russian official familiar with the former defense minister. It was earlier reported that Sergei Shoigu had a falling out over the office of the head of the Security Council with Vladimir Putin's new aide, Nikolai Patrushev. Having received the new post of Secretary of the Russian Security Council in May, Shoigu was unable to move into the office assigned to his predecessor in this post, one of the informed interlocutors told Proekt.